In your Health Source 10 report, a major change is coming to how and where people facing a mental health crisis get help. Right now, thousands of people each year turn to the emergency department in any of Central Ohio's hospitals. But as 10TV's Tracy Townsend explains, a new project could soon change that. The numbers tell the story. For example, Ohio Health reports an average of 1,100 of these visits to its emergency departments each month. The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center reported just over 1,500 this year from January to May. Next spring, relief, a better option for crisis care that will essentially be 24-7, functioning like a behavioral health, urgent care. <sighs> It is a pain that um, I would not wish on anyone. Michelle Blair is talking about the 2021 murder of her son, Cameron Cates, which led to her hospitalization for depression, anxiety, and panic attacks. In the first year after he's passed, um, I was in a fog, didn't really know. Um, what was going on pretty much. Trauma therapy helped, giving her the tools for her mental health, including these near daily walks. It's very serene, very peaceful. Each step puts her on pace to better mental health and recognizing when she makes a misstep. Like I can't sit still. Mm. I have to run, I have to do something right now or something very bad is gonna happen. Blair shared with me that there have been times her anxiety got so bad, she felt there was no place to turn other than a hospital emergency room. If I'm just sitting in the lobby area of the ER, which I've done too, um, if something happens to me, I'm in the right place, they can help me. She's not alone. Local emergency rooms see thousands of visits from people struggling with their mental health. Franklin County's new 24-hour crisis center will be another right place. Adam H. Chief Operating Officer Jonathan Thomas says the no wrong doors policy will fill a void. By having a facility that specializes in behavioral health care needs, we can get those individuals the best care, less likely to see someone hospitalized, have a shorter length of stay, and less likely for them to represent in crisis. Anyone 18 or over experiencing a mental health or addiction related crisis can come to the center regardless of their ability to pay. They can get service from professionals and what are called certified peers. Those individuals with lived experiences with specialized training, they change the treatment team and therefore they change the outcomes. There is a dedicated first responder entrance for those who are transported by law enforcement or EMS. Experts say it's a game changer here. In less than seven minutes, they should be able to drop somebody off and then be back in the community providing public safety services. Thomas says hospitals should see close to a 60% reduction in people going to the emergency department with mental health and addiction needs. The 24-7 walk-in clinic that will function like a behavioral health urgent care. People who don't need full intake, but perhaps need a consult and medication. If stabilization takes more time, the second floor will have 16 inpatient rooms for people staying longer. Once complete, the 24-hour crisis center will fill a void in Franklin County. I use the ER an awful lot. Michelle Blair says it has the potential to help others like herself. We need that so much here. There are so many people who are suffering in silence with their mental illness and feel alone, isolated, nowhere to go. They feel like nobody understands them. In Columbus, Tracy Townsend, 10 TV News. The Franklin County Crisis Center is funded through federal, state, and city dollars along with corporate and private donations. It's scheduled to open in the spring.